everyone so welcome back to my channel my name is medwife sally and what i do is to help pregnant women go through pregnancy without worrying that something is going to go wrong today we are going to talk about a topic every pregnant woman always asks okay so i'm having headache i'm having headache what can i do yes so today we are going to talk about headaches during pregnancy what can i do why am i having headache during pregnancy yes so if you are pregnant and you are having headache there are areas you should look out for yes so i'm going to mention about five or six of them yes ask yourself am i stressed am i stressed okay so if you are so stressed it can cause you to have headache during pregnancy if you are stressed okay so if you're working throughout the day no rest you are psychologically stressed it can cause headache during pregnancy am i hungry am i hungry yes yeah, so if you are hungry you can it can cause headache during pregnancy pregnancy and hunger they are not friends so you don't have to be hungry you don't have to allow yourself to be hungry when you are pregnant okay so if you realize that you are not eating well seek advice join our pregnancy class let's guide you okay how you can eat well during pregnancy okay and then the third question you can you should ask yourself if you are having headache is that are you getting proper ventilation proper ventilation so are you in a place that is airy okay enough air the room should not be starved okay so if you are in a room that is starved it's stuffy it can cause you to have headache for those of us who use commercial transport, trocho and all that, if you want to use trocho and all that, it's okay if you don't have a car. But make sure you are at a place where there's so much air passing through the car. Because if you are sitting in the middle and the air getting to you is not enough, because you are already pregnant and you are having some weightlessness already, you are going to have um, more discomfort and it can cause headache. Yes. Another thing that can cause, you should ask yourself, is your blood group is your blood level okay your hb hemoglobin level the recommended hemoglobin level is 11 and above and so if you are pregnant and you are having an hb which is less than let's say seven eight nine sometimes ten people respond differently and so once your hb is down it can also cause you to have headache Okay, so that is very, very important and you should note that. So ask yourself, is my HB okay? Another thing you should ask yourself, what is my, if you're having severe headache, this should even be number one, okay? This should even be number one. Yes. Ask yourself, could it be that my BP has gone up? Could it be that my BP has gone up? So this, are, this is one of the things that would let you know that Maybe you are getting preeclampsia or some, you are getting into that or something. Check your BP. Anytime you have severe, persistent headache, you've taken power, it is not going, you have rested, it is not going, please don't waste your time. Check your BP. If possible, go to the hospital and also check, let them check your urine because preeclampsia can cause severe headache and you rest, it will not go power, it will not go unless you receive the treatments that is required. Yes, so all these things can be reasons why you're having headache. And for those of you or those of us in Africa, one of the reasons why you could also be having headache is because you are having um, malaria. Malaria causes headache as well. Yes, so you can see that it has so, you have so many reasons as a pregnant woman to have headache. Yes, yeah, so you should always make sure you are eating well, you are resting enough, you have enough ventilation, your HB is high, you check your BP to make sure you don't have preeclampsia. Yes, yeah, so these things are things that you should look out for. If you have done this assessment and everything is okay, all that you have to do is to report to the hospital for further investigations. But once your BP is up, Please report immediately. If you check and your BP is up, don't wait. Go to the hospital immediately. 
hope this is helpful make sure you share it with your friends make sure you subscribe to our channel and join our pregnancy class where you get access to myself to our midwives to our community of other pregnant women who are going to help you throughout your journey and don't forget our Sally's tips for certain moms you can get the physical book we have an ebook as well which is also on Amazon Amazon so the topic is Sally's tips for expectant moms yes you can follow us on Facebook Instagram and also on WhatsApp you can save our number and then I'm sure you'll be able to see our status if you send hi also save your contact as well Okay, so thank you so much. See you in our next video.